Hey golf people, on today's episode, we are taking a look at the Mizuno STZ and the STX. Mizuno has had the number one driver in my driver bracket the last couple of years running. They've got a great combination of consistency, distance, and great looks, as well as wonderful feel, sound at impact, and so much more to love about these drivers. Well, we're gonna look at the 2023 edition of this family of drivers from Mizuno, and we'll break down the differences for you on today's episode. Spoiler alert, I'd say these drivers are a big contender once again here for driver of the year. All right, guys, looking at these two models, I've got the STZ on my left, I got the STX on my right. The STZ is a little bit more rounded, more half moon, whereas the STX just seems a little bit more elongated there or a little bit more triangular in appearance. Looking at these two faces, the STZ is a little bit deeper here, whereas the STX is a little bit longer, a little bit shallower. And then if we turn them over here, the weight port here with the STZ, a little bit more central, a little bit towards the toe and facing towards the toe with the STX. All right, but let's see what they actually do hitting them. That's the most important thing. First up here is the STZ. Both of these drivers are gonna be the same setup. I've got a 10 and a half degree head, as well as the Mitsubishi Kali 60 gram stiff shaft on both of these clubs. Let's see what we get here. Boy, nice solid feel at impact. That was a great strike for the first strike. I don't know how high my swing speed was, but I know that went center. My swing speed was down a little bit there. 96 miles per hour, ball speed 136, carried 228, total distance 254 to spin. A nice number there, 1,975 RPM. I love to be right around 2,000 RPM. 2,100 is the sweet spot for me. Let's see if I can get the swing speed up a little bit here on this next shot. I think I did. Yeah, the trajectory we're getting with this club, really nice. Carry number a little bit better there. Let's see if we hit the green, almost. We got to the fringe anyways. That flag's out there at 275. Club head speed two miles per hour faster than our previous swing. 98 miles per hour, ball speed 142, carried 237, the total 264. And again, the spin number really looks good there, 2074. Now guys, I've hit some big drives this year, but that's when my swing speed's up around 101, 102 and higher. Let's see if we can do that. I will say this is a very solid feeling driver. In terms of feel, I say it's right up there with the Stealth 2, which was a driver that I really liked, the impact feel. Looking down at dress, just so clean too. It looks like a nice big head. It just looks massive for some reason. You've got black high gloss that then fades into a carbon fiber finish. Really beautiful looking club at a dress. Next shot here, let's get the club head speed up again a little bit more. I probably did, but I also hit that one a little low on the face, but if we talk about forgiveness there, boy, I hit it a little low, a little heel side, still got decent numbers. Club head speed 98, ball speed 141. Carry 207, which is kind of low just because it didn't get up in the air very high there. Low on the club head. In terms of spin, again, perfect number there, 2100. I just need to hit one in the center and then we should be just fine. Let's see if we can do that here on this next shot. Again, as you can see though, the dispersion, the dispersion looks really great. So those shots there in blue on the right hand side. That one off the toe a little bit. But again, boy, that's our best in terms of distance. And the smash factor is still only 1.45 because I hit that a little bit toe side. Middle of the club, but toe side. Club head speed 98, ball speed 142. It carried 243 and it rolled down to 272, which is... Excellent, again, spin number 1949. Now guys, I know a lot of people are interested in my setup here. I'm using the Bushnell Launch Pro, available at playbetter.com. I've got a link to that. They just dropped the price on these things, as well as the subscription pricing, and it's very attractive, I've gotta say. The mat I'm using is also a monster mat, which I love the feel of this mat. I've got a link as well as a code down below. 
you can save a couple bucks using the code. All right, here we go. Next shot. Let's see if we can get the club head speed up higher and make a little bit more center contact. More of a sweeping draw there, but again, you can, as you can see, I am not missing the center line by a whole lot on any of these swings, guys. So far, this looks to be probably the most consistent driver I've hit all year. Carry 226, total 259. My club head speed was actually down 97, ball speed 143, and spin was the lowest we've seen yet at 1700. I really want to give this one good pop though. I think that was it. That's probably the most I've got in me. As you can see, the trajectory much higher there as well. That's going to carry really nicely and it's probably going to roll out to a decent number as well. Let's see where we got the club head speed there. 99. We just couldn't break that 100 mile an hour mark. Ball speed 142, carried 245, total 272. The spin 2300. So we got some nice spin alongside the peak height there. Can we do it one more time? I just want to see what this club can do over 100 miles an hour in terms of distance. Let's do it right now. Boy, if that's not over 100 miles per hour, I'll be shocked. Off to the right just a little bit there. Good looking number though. It finished. It finished pretty well. Oh, we still couldn't do it. Club head speed 99, ball speed 145. Carry 245, total 270. In terms of efficiency, that's 1.47 in terms of smash factor. Again, spin 2325. Great results with this club. I just, just wasn't able to deliver a 100 mile an hour swing. I am a mere mortal. If you're a mere mortal too, go ahead and hit subscribe. Oftentimes you see club reviews. And while it's great to see the guys that can hit it 350 yards, it just might not be so relatable. Hopefully this channel is more relatable to you. If it is, hit subscribe. I'm gonna switch over now to the STX. All right, guys, so first swing here, STX. First one's a pretty good one. Out to the right just a little bit. It's drawn back. Good amount of distance there though, guys. Club head speed 97, ball speed 145, carried 243, total 267. Look at the efficiency there, that's smash factor. 1.5, and I don't even think I hit that necessarily dead center, to be quite honest with you. I think it was maybe just slightly toe side and slightly low on the club face. Spin number there, 2424 RPM. So a little higher than we had been seeing. Let's go with the second swing here. Now that one was hit pretty well center. Maybe a little high on the club face, but pretty well center. Higher is generally better than lower, I've found. <laughs> club head speed 98, ball speed 139. Carry 229, total 260. Total spin 1799, so that's a big spin difference there. Let's see what we can do here, swing three. That was pretty well struck. Stay down to the right on me a little bit. Club head speed 97, ball speed 144, carried 242. Total distance 266. Again, smash factor, good number, 1.48. We like to see it up there high. Really happy with that one, honestly. I'd like to get the club speed up a little higher. Just wanna generate a little bit more speed here. That's gonna be a very central landing spot. Distance was down just a little bit there. That was a little toe side. Club head speed 98, ball speed 143. Carry 218, total 254. The spin, lower, 1724 RPM. Now that was a pretty low strike there, but look how center it is. I think all in all, I get a little bit better dispersion here with the STX. Club head speed lower, 94. Ball speed 146, carried 212, total 252, spin 1974. Real good one there. Nice trajectory, 
just a little left of center. Club head speed 98, ball speed 143. It carried 224, total 262. Spin there, 1724. It seems like when I hit this club real well, the spin's a little lower than on the STZ. Just a little bit, which makes sense why the tour players would prefer this because those guys like it a little lower spinning. I'm gonna hit one more here, one more good one, then we'll take a look at the numbers. All right, that was dead center. Probably my best in terms of club head speed or close. Just didn't quite make it to the green, but that was a really good shot. Oh, the club head speed was down actually. 95, ball speed 139, carry 236, total 263. The spin there, a real nice number, 1949. Let's take a little deeper look here at the numbers and compare apples to apples here and see which one of these is the best for me. So guys, after seven shots with each club, here are the numbers. First off, looking at club speed, it was down about a mile per hour. So we will take that into advisement here. The STZ 97.8, Mizuno STX 96.9. Now let's get into the ball data. So this is actually interesting here, guys. Ball speed with the STZ, 141.6, but actually about a mile per hour higher, 1.1 mile per hour higher, 142.7 with the STX. Remember, one mile per hour less swing speed, but one mile per hour more ball speed. That's very interesting. Launch angle, pretty similar, 10.9 degrees, STZ 10.7 with the STX. In terms of total spin, real close, but lower spinning, in general, and like I said, that, that one there, 1724, that was a pretty well dead center shot there. We got that number actually a couple times, a few there in the low 1700s with the STX. So the spin's a little less with the STX. 2060 STZ versus 1996 with the STX. And nothing, well, yeah, we had one that stood out, 1700 there. So pretty close, honestly, with the spin. When all said and done, about 70 RPM, it's not going to make or break much for sure. In terms of peak height, again, very similar. A little higher with the STZ, 20 yards versus 19 yards there with the STX. In terms of carry, this one carried more though, even with a little less ball speed. The STZ carried 233, the STX 229. Total 262 with the STZ 261 with the STX. So because it was a little lower spinning, it showed a little bit more rollout. Two very, very similar drivers. If we look at the dispersion map, I seem to hit things a little bit more left there with the X and things a little bit more right there with the STZ. So really similar, honestly, but I guess if I was looking for a little bit more draw, bias, I guess I'm leaning STX. And if I'm looking for a little bit more fade bias, both pretty neutral, but I'd go STZ if I was looking for a little bit more fade bias. Guys, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these two amazing drivers from Mizuno this year. I like the smash factor I'm seeing. It's way up there with the best of the best. The distances when struck well are up there. And I think of all the clubs I've tested so far, in terms of pure dispersion, these things look to be right up there, if not the best that I've seen in terms of dispersion. And again, in years past, the last couple of years, trying these Mizuno drivers, that's one thing that stood out to me is they are very straight drivers. No matter where you hit them on the face, you're still gonna get very similar results out there. Most of the time in the middle of the fairway for me that I've gotten. Love these drivers, guys. Highly recommend you try them for yourself. Put them in the mix when you're testing drivers this year. These drivers are going to be part of our March Madness bracket, so make sure to hit subscribe. You don't wanna miss any of those videos where we basically take all the drivers, all the new releases from this year and pit them up head to head versus each other in a March Madness style bracket. One driver will come out on top for the last two years running. It's been the Mizuno. We'll see what it is here in 2023. Guys, if you are looking at drivers, these two have to be on your list as well to take a look at. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.